Sunday school. I was raised in a, I was raised as a Southern Baptist. Yeah, the word uh, wretch. The wretch is. The wretch song, one of the songs. Uh, yeah, uh, Amazing Santa. Grace. Yeah. Wretch like me. You know what they call themselves? Big Mama calling herself a wretch in church. Ooh. Wretch. Yeah, uh, actually, we are all wretched, actually, though. Wretched. I don't want stopping and talking shit. Like don't talk, no, you don't. I don't don't make me curse you out, brother. Because we're gonna have to get you. One Kenny Livingston. Hey, cause hey north to sawmill you can't you can't hold uh you can't have respected persons with the truth, man. If you see somebody you know come up to, you gonna try your best to be cool with them. You gotta tell them the truth though, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes that's hard to do, you know what I mean? It can be hard sometimes. Where's that? It's that James, ain't it? Can't make it to the kingdom being a homosexual. Can't make it into the kingdom. Who is that? Uh, Oh yeah, cause you're right though, cause in the kingdom, yeah, they ain't first a lot of them Edomites gonna have to come back to the reincarnation. We're gonna take the elites, they going off in the uh, uh hey, let's get that. Let's get uh Psalms uh you know what I'm wanting. What is that? 149 or 150 here? 149. Yeah, 149. Yeah, I got across the street. Forty-nine. You start at the top. It's a beautiful song. Hey, that's because we out here singing that new song. <laughs> hey, that would match my boots, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking fly. Crazy. The Lord sing to the Lord. Are you good? New song. Say new song. That's that new song prayer. Yeah. That's Just why we singing that new song. Because we be out here, people, uh, we teach it. Like, I ain't never heard that before. It That's because we singing that new song. It but, sounds new to you. I even though it was old, written um, 2,000, 3,000 years ago. It's new to you, ain't it? Go ahead. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Yep. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. That's why we joyful in the Most High. That's why we're not ashamed to come out here in the streets in front of everybody, speak with a loud voice reading the scriptures, looking crazy. We take great joy and pleasure in that. Go ahead. Let them praise his name in the dance. 
Let them sing praise unto him with the tremble of at heart. Yeah, that's why I, I, we playing the guitar, we hit that. Ah. You know, give praise to the most high. And that's why Israelites got the, got the uh, you see, Israelites are the best musicians on the planet. Got the most talent. Michael Jackson, he'll moonwalk on your ass. For the Lord take a pleasure in his people. Yeah, the Lord take a uh, pleasure in his people. The Lord don't take pleasure in all people. He takes pleasure in his people, which is the nation of Israel, the Israelites, the people on that sign, the people on this sign right here. Go ahead. He will beautify the meat with salvation. Right, he's going to beautify the meat. The Lord said, blessed be the meat. That's right, he's right, he's about to get to it. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high priest priest of God be in their mouth and the two-edged sword in their hand. Right, so the Lord said, let, let, let the, the praise of the Lord be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. So soon when the Lord gives us that power, it goes Satan. Soon when the Lord gives us that power, he gonna put that two-edged sword in our hand, okay? He gonna give us actual spiritual power. The Lord gonna give us superpowers. We gonna be like Superman out here. Well, yeah, Superman gonna look like a little weakling compared to us, bro. Right. We'll beat Superman's ass. That's right. Go ahead. Yeah, Superman got his ass beat by Batman. Ain't got no power. Yeah. But actually, Superman comes out of the Bible. His real name is what? Kel El? Kel El is Hebrew. It means voice of God. So all, all them superheroes come from the Bible. The creators, they, they take the ideas straight out the Bible. That's why they gave him a Hebrew name of Kel El. Voice of God. Go ahead. Yeah, the most, yeah right. The most high put the spirit. What's that name? Joe Siegel and uh, I forget the other one's name. Now go ahead. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punish upon the people. Right, so the, the punishment is coming on these wicked people out here, especially on the nation of Edom, the so-called white man who controls the earth. Go ahead. To bind their kings with chains and their noble the nobles with fetters. Fet yeah, fetters, fetters of iron. The kings, that's the bankers. Yeah, the kids. Right, yeah, the modern day kings, right? The bankers, the Rothschilds, the so called Illuminati. If y'all didn't know, Donald Trump don't have no real power. He's just a puppet. He's a figurehead that reads off a teleprompter. Ain't none of your presidents ever had no power. They're just a figurehead. Because behind the shadows, there's an oligarchy to rule, okay? It's the elite. That's what they call the so called Illuminati. They the ones running shit. And they're going into slavery. They're going in chains. We're going to put them in chains. The Lord's gonna give us power and take away their power. Go ahead. To execute upon them the judgment written. And it, yeah, the judgment written. Go ahead. The honor have all his saints praise ye they Lord. Yeah, his and we're the saints. The nation of Israel, we the saints. Okay. This honor. Yeah, cause you know the Catholic Church will tell you the saints, you gotta pray to the saints. You know only a saint. If, if you the Catholic Church, uh, Saint God Saint down to Mary, yeah, all that. Who's Mary? Mary who? Mary from my west. Mary Poppins. Yeah, Mary Poppins. Mary from Big Stone Gap, Virginia. That's who you're bound down to. This ain't the Mary. You know what I'm saying, and who's what you're bound down to? Yeah, because really the Mary in the Catholic Church, she's actually the Queen of Heaven. Uh, the Greeks uh, worship her as what? Diana. She's just an incarnation of Diana or Artemis. You know what I'm saying? Isis. She's just Isis. You know what I'm saying? The Queen of Heaven. They even call her the Queen of Heaven in the Catholic Church. They actually call her the Queen of Heaven. Catholic Church like, like a lot of that gay stuff going on, don't they? They do. You right. know about that, don't you? Uh, That's coming out in the news everywhere. Yeah, there was a top story in the news. Uh, uh, a pr one of them Catholic priests got caught raping all kind of little boys. And the Pope said, we got forgiving. He's supposed to be a man of the Lord. He's supposed to get put to death. He's forgiving. When we catch up with the Pope, though, <laughs> when his judgment comes, woo! 
Oh. He's, he's, he's like a king too. No, he is a king. You know? He's one of the most powerful men in the world. It's the kings and fetters of iron. But we can put him in rustic fetters of iron too. Catholic Church has a lot of power. All you Asians over on there, you're going to get locked up right along with them. They'll be washing our pots and pans. <laughs> your royal penis is clean, your highness. That's right. And as Isaiah 45 and 14, God said, Yahweh, the labor of Egypt, I hate Egypt, but the labor of Egypt and merchandise of Ethiopia and of the Sabaeans, men of stature, shall come over unto thee, and they shall be thine. They shall come after thee in chains. They shall come over, and they shall fall down unto thee. They shall make supplication unto thee, saying, Truly God is in thee, and there is none else. There is no God. We're going to be shining, man. They're going to be like, they're going to be convinced of it. You know? And that's proof, too, that the ugly Edomite. <laughs> For real, man. And your wife. They're going to see your power, so there ain't going to be no denying it, man. There ain't going to be no denying it, man. They're going to go to both sides with us, man. So that's gonna be beautiful, man. That's a badass scripture. Hey, that proves too, though, that what? The Lord's only dealing with Israel, bro. All them heathens are going into chains. It, it said the same thing in the New Testament. Because people be like, y'all reading the Old Testament. The Old Testament. That is the Old Testament. Supplication is to beg. Begging mercy and shit. Yep, they gonna, yeah, they're going to be sick. Yeah, they are. You get the Sabbath? Right. Even Esau is going to get the Sabbath off. They're looking forward to that day. So we're going to keep the Sabbath. I'm like Esau in this kingdom. He don't give up. He don't give up. They just work on the Sabbath. Why they ain't going to work on the Sabbath? No, nobody going to work on the Sabbath. There's order. There's order. There's Even order. man and beast is going to have uh, rest. You know, there will be an order. Because, you know, uh, they're going to be ordered. That's their day of rest. Right? Yeah, that's their day of rest. As soon as that Sabbath is over, though. Let's say Most High is not the author of confusion. Yep, it's not the author of you know? confusion. So there's going to be complete order in the kingdom. Yep. Even the heathens are going to be blessed. That's that one day every yep. Sabbath. What's you know? it every six days of work? We ain't going to be doing shit. But Who knows? We will never work again. The only work we're going to do is the pleasure of killing heathens and executing judgment. You can't only imagine what kind of fun we're going to have. Right. And look, I got a, a precept. Revelation 2 and... uh. 26 and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end to him will I give power over the nations so what does it mean to have power over the nations what nations Africans Hamites Canaanites Moabites all y'all Look, and that's red letters. That, that's red letters. Look, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter, they shall be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father, and I will give him the morning star. So yeah, so in the kingdom, we're going to be breaking the heathens to pieces. And we're going to rule with a rod of iron. Like, don't say you say that shit, you go, oh shit, really? That should fire you up, man. That should fire you up. Because you know, you listen to all these little Christians, they teach that little soft, little bullshit doctrine. The Lord come on hard with it, bro. He, he said we're going to rule the nation with a rod of iron. Yeah, close that door, bro. We're gonna rule the nation with a rod of iron. I mean, that's coming hard with it, like a like a gangster. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's like, I, we just talking about Jesus loves me. They want Jesus loves me. This I know for the body. Yeah, what kind of bullshit, bro? Wow, let's make that song about ruling. Oh, why didn't they sing Psalms 149 in Sunday school? How can they sing that one? It's in the songs. It's a song. It said we're gonna put the heathens in chains. How can they read that, sing that one oh. in Sunday school? Check this one. It said we're gonna have a two-edged sword in our hand. I wanna see I wanna sing that song. Not that little bullshit they made up in Sunday school. I'm trying to sing the, the ones that's actually in the Bible. That's the songs I wanna sing. I'm trying to sing that little bullshit y'all be talking about. Songs actually songs too. What's the song? That's what I'm saying. It means song means song. What's the song song? That's just a little one. Oh, that's song 137. 137. Verse that's 19. It. That's it. That's, it. that's it. going into Esau. That's it. That's it. 
That's it. <laughs> Here you go. This is another song. Psalms 137 and 7. It was actually a famous reggae song uh, by the Rivers of Babylon. But they left that part out. Yeah. Psalms 137 and 7. On the radio. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem who said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundations. Thereof. Right, because back in the ancient world when the Babylonians had seized Jerusalem and sacked Jerusalem, the Edomites were right there with them cheering them on and they was mocking Israel. They was making fun of Israel because of their the destruction. And because of that, the Lord's going to punish them. And, and they also going to get punished from when they uh, refused to give uh, Israel safe pa passage uh, when they came out of the Exodus. So they got a lot to pay for it. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Hey, like, and Esau is, uh, is called the daughter of Babylon because what? He follows after the ways of the Babylonians. He follows all the, you know, all the witchcraft of the Babylonians. Go ahead. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stone. Oh, it's like it. Uh, <laughs> and that's the spirit too. He's, uh, you ain't reading it all. Is that it? Oh, yeah, that, that was all of it. Yeah, so happy shall I be to take the little Edomite babies and smash them against the stone. Crack. Like, I hear people say, oh, the Bible is bull bullshit. It says to kill babies and smash them against rocks. What's wrong with that? It don't say that, though. It says smash Edomite babies against rocks. It didn't just say go pick up a random baby. Yeah, just go pick up a little random baby, smashing them. What's going to happen to Jake, too? Jake gonna get well, it too. Esau did that to Jake though. Yeah. Oh, Jake, go ahead. Jake gotta get that shit against the stone. Them little monsters. Psalms <laughs> yeah. 18 and 40. Oh, that's the best one. Thank you. Thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle. Thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me. Thou hast also given me the necks of my enemies that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried, and there was none to save them, even unto Yahweh, can he answered them not. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind. I did cast them out as a dirt in the streets. That had delivered me from the strangling, striving, like striving, like striving of the people. And that has made me the head of the heathen. The people whom I have not known shall serve me. Yeah, that, that goes in the same, right. Just like David ruled the heathens, David going to, Rule the heathen again under the Yahweh Shah. Because then if the Lord say he's going to rebuild the tabernacle of David, that's what he's doing right here. This is the house of David right here. The Lord rebuilding that uh, tabernacle of David. That's why when Yahweh Shah was on the earth, what did they call him? Son of David. Didn't they call him that? He, that's what one of his titles that they, they called him by. And, and in the book of Revelation, it says what? I am the root. In the offspring of David, I am the bright in the morning star. So he let it be known that he was, you know what I'm saying, he was from the house of David. Go ahead. It says, verse 18 and 44, As soon as they hear me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their place, as their close places. And I will live it and bless be my rock, and let the God of my salvation, let the God of my salvation be exalted. It is God that avenges me and subdueth the people under me. Yeah, that, that's the spirit, though. Yeah, because the Lord, if we're going to subdue all the heathen nations, we're going to be the kings of the earth. The Lord, you can read in 2 Ezra that says, Jehovah Shad, he's going to put crowns on our head. I'm going to get one more. I know we probably got to get back to the, the meter going to run out. Uh, Isaiah, uh, just like Mary Esau was known as the daughter of Babylon. Also, I got, I was meant to say, uh, what's America called in the Bible? It's Babylon the Great, right? According to the Bible, America is known as Babylon the Great. And like the scriptures say, Babylon is fallen, is fallen. America's going to fall. Isaiah, uh, Isaiah 13 and 18. Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces. They shall have no pity on the fruit of their womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. Going back into what, Isaiah 37, right? That's going to be a gruesome day right there. That's going to be a horrifying day. Look. In Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, 
the beauty of the Chaldeans' excellency shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tents there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and the satyrs shall dance there, and the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in their desolate houses, and the dragons in their pleasant palaces, and her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. And so yeah, so that's coming soon, man. Like, like what's that, Habakkuk? It said the vision is plain, right? Y'all, y'all think the destruction's not coming. Destruction is nearer than what you thought. Hey, that's the scripture too. It's the book of Ezekiel when they said they put the days of fear for all. Yeah, they put. They try to put it off. You can't put it off. They said that that proverb will cease among Israel that they put the days for all. You know the days is nothing. That trouble's nothing. Ain't no stopping. <laughs> the death of Babylon. Yeah, Babylon gonna be destroyed. The scripture says to hasten the day. It's coming soon, man. One day y'all gonna wake up to that mushroom cloud. Poof. Pile. Powder of smoke. Powder of dust. What y'all gonna do on that day? Are you gonna go to the club? Yeah, no. Nope. The war of the the laser beam was hitting them. Tom Cruise covered in <laughs> dehydrated body. Tom Cruise saved the day. Right. Yeah. Uh, remember part of the movie with the sun so the uh, military is fighting against the uh, angels. And uh, he's like, let me go, let me go. I gotta go. I gotta see this. I gotta see this. With no fear in his heart. Like he really wanted to go in the midst of the battle, man. The scripture says the heart will faint. The heart will faint. The heart's gonna faint, man. Let me see it. They call me. They go, I got to see this. I got to see this. Let's battle. You ain't seen that? that? That is not the Lord right there. Lord, according to the scriptures in the Bible, the Lord did not look like the Lord was a dark-skinned man. Okay? That, that, that's that false image they put into the churches. To deceive the minds of the simple. That's the goddamn devil. Yeah, that's the devil. That's the El Diablo. Well, that, that's in Spanish, though. That's right, that's the devil. This English right there. This is the devil. This is Spanish. Well, that, that's Negro. Yeah, because because Latinos, uh, those, are, those are our people. Puerto Rican Latino. Uh, for real? That's an Israelite. What's your father? What's your father? What's your father? Puerto Rican Latino. Mom's African American. Well, you gotta be one of the both. You can't be both. You gotta be one of the other. Ain't no such thing as being mixed like that. Ain't no such thing. You want your father with you. Whatever his father is, you gotta be one of the two. That's what you, he is and what you are. Right. Yeah, because the Latinos all Israelite. Yeah, they all the Israelite. So called. Yeah, that's what they are. Yeah, they all Yeah, because the Latinos all Israelite. So called. So called uh, black people is an Israelite. The man carries the seat, so the man determines on what your nationality is. But you don't have an E for my spirit, though. It's right there in the book of Revelation. You know what I mean? You don't understand me, man. What does that say? You don't understand me. What does that scripture get understanding? Oh, that's Proverbs the first half. Yeah, they don't really understand you, man. They hear something, but they keep going, man, thinking they know something. That was that, uh, you dropped that seed on a stony ground. Yeah. Right, that's right. Say that was last week. Oh, yeah, yeah, get that half a cut. That's half a cut two and three. For the vision is yet for a point in time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. For this prophecy is when the heavenly father is going to determine when it's going to come. You know, it ain't the Lord, it ain't the angels, you know. This prophecy is going to take effect in that time, when that hour struck. Most high going to say, 
Release the Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Literally. That's what you Oh, know. yeah, let's get it cracking. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, shit, yeah. cracking. Cracking, cracking, lacking. What's up, bro? It says, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Right. <laughs> hey, is there more to it than that, ain't eh? Yeah, oh, that's good. I think you should have started up a little higher. Which one is number eight? Oh, that's good. That's the point. That means when there's destruction coming, that don't mean it ain't gonna be it's gonna be quenched. <laughs> you know what I mean? Somebody gonna do something miraculously and them missiles just gonna fall and not detonate. Shit. Shalom. <laughs> <laughs> 